Fleet Feet believes that running changes everything, and we're proud to sponsor Crosscuts Out and Back with Allison Mariella Desir. We host fun runs, training groups, and events. Whether you're training for your first mile or your 50th marathon, we're here to run with you. A lot of campgrounds, they weren't designed for black and brown folks. Then when they did start to include, they were segregated for so long. Just like a lot of our ancestors have fought for so many rights that we have today, there's also ancestors who were fighting for our right to be able to enjoy this outdoor space. And so that is just as important to make sure we are taking advantage of that right to be out here. I'm here at Lake Timothy, Oregon, land of the Confederated Tribes of the Umatia Reservation. Tonight, I'll be camping with Lestea Tawadi Malloy, founder of Friday Outdoors. When Lestea talks about camping, she describes it as cozy, comfortable, inspiring. I don't know about you, but I've been camping and I've never experienced it in that way. Words that come to mind are dirty, uncomfortable, type two fun. In fact, I can almost hear my father in my head saying, who would pay good money to sleep on the floor outdoors? Part of Lestea's work is to ensure that Black people not only feel safe in the outdoors, but can get comfy and cozy. I'm here for it. There she is! Hi! Hey, how are you? So good to oh, meet you. So good to meet you. This is such a beautiful spot. Yes, this is... Oh my god. When gosh. I think of camping, like, this is what it's about. Yeah. Well, do you want to help get the tent set up? Let's do it. I'm thinking let's set it up over here. Because okay. um, mainly we just want to have a flat space. And then uh, we also need to that make lesson. sure it's big enough. <laughs> there we go. So that way. Cool. And then now we'll start to stand it up. And if you want to put yours, the okay. grommets. Oh, into the holes. Okay. Yep. Oh, wow. This thing is huge. Yeah. There we are. Yeah, we've got this tunnel size tent and what's nice is we'll be able to stand up in it. Yeah. And it make, just makes it easier to change your clothes. and Right, it's not claustrophobic. Exactly. It's definitely easier when you're doing it with me. Yeah, you see, <laughs> you got this. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm a great instruction follower. <laughs> Do you want it to be all the way down? Yeah. <gasps> we don't know why. We're going to get our workout. <laughs> it is definitely a workout. Let's see if this is it. Oh. All right, we did it. Yeah. Like knowing that your home is set before you go off and do other things is such a relief, right? Yeah. Like now it's done. No matter what, we'll, we will go to sleep tonight. So. <laughs> yeah. so I didn't grow up camping. Like I didn't even play in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> but when my parents passed away, I was 11 and I moved with family. And that's when I was introduced to hiking. Mm. I was very much hiking to heal. Mm. And over the course of hiking, I would go to these campgrounds, that's where a lot of trails are, and I started noticing people. I'm like, what are they doing, right? And they were camping, and they had the tents and the campfire. And it took years, though, for me to work up the courage to say, okay, I wanna go on my first camping trip. Mm -hmm. But eventually I did. All of us were new, <laughs> none of us had gear, but we really made the most of it and just said, let's go out and do it, right? Mm -hmm. We pulled our money together to get gear we could share. We brought whatever we could from home. Like <laughs> I, I brought my pots and my pans from home. I brought my stove that I do hot pot on <laughs> from home. I brought my pillow <laughs> and we just had a good time. Mm. I love that. It shows that you know, even if you don't have the right stuff, if you have the right attitude, right, you can make it happen and then learn from that experience. Gear 
safety, the outdoor skills, these are all barriers to us getting out there. And if we can knock down those barriers, then it's just up to us to say, hey, I'm gonna go, go do that. Mm. There we go, hey, hit the propane. What is it about camping that is exciting and worth it to you? Oh, I mean, well, look at the spot that we're in. Mm. The trees are so tall, the sun is shining down, I can hear the birds. Like, that is beautiful, right? But it's also that community and connection, right? Like, you and I in this space, right. having conversations, right? It's such a bonding experience to be with friends and be in community with each other. Oh, I love camp food. <laughs> I can't believe this is camp food. Yeah! <laughs> I've found in my experience that words like adventurous or outdoorsy are typically reserved for white men, and we don't often see ourselves in that light, you know? I agree. It, there's a lot of times when you look at magazines, especially, or movies, it's the white guy conquering the mountain and just showing this kind of one dimension of what it means to be outdoorsy. But what I love about us being out here, and I just say for like for my journey, I've become much more outdoorsy and in the way that I want and need to be, mm. right? Like sometimes I just wanna lay in a hammock and mm. that is outdoors. <laughs> and there's other times where I do wanna go mountain biking and I wanna go snowboarding and all the things. And it's really just letting go of what typical outdoorsy is totally. and also just taking up space as a woman of color. The more we see each other, the more we're out here and also just realize there's more mm. of us actually than we realize just because we're not shown oftentimes. Right, right. So. Well, I definitely wouldn't be camping if it weren't for you. So thank you for that. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. Yes. Cheers. As important as it is to recreate out here, it's just as important to leave the space in the same or actually better condition mm. than which we found it. And just knowing that this is all of our outdoor homes and that we are sharing it and really being with nature, just being in these trees, being next to the water and hearing the ripples, it gets my mind going. It's calming, but it's also this invigorating energy that I don't get from anywhere else. My mind starts to reflect about who I am in this moment. Who do I wanna be? What kind of impact do I wanna make? What's my contribution? And if we think about it in that way, then of course we're gonna to wanna to take care of it. Fleet Feet is on a mission to inspire the runner and everyone and is proud to sponsor Crosscuts Out and Back with Allison Mariella Desir.